Hello and welcome to Alpha Commerce students. Today in this class, I am going to start the fourth element of leadership, that is called communication. I have written in the board communication. Today I will start this fourth element. Previously, I have completed three other elements from directing chapter, that is motivation, uh, leadership, and supervision. And today we are going to start with the last segment of directing, that is. Uh, communication now what is communication first of all i must tell you that there are two parties involved always involved in a communication so what are the two parties who are the two parties first is sender another is recipient Another is recipient. So, um, communication is a process by which sender transmit information, messages, and feelings to the recipient. Sender transmit. messages or information opinions feelings to the recipient so all these are transferred in the process of communication communication is a process the definition of communication can be explained through this picture and this picture vividly describes how sender is sending the messages information and feelings to the recipient how the messages information and feelings are transmitted from the sender to the recipient so two parties are involved in the whole process of communication now this communication is done through one or more channels channels are required for transmitting these messages so definition is not complete with this only sender transmit messages or information to the recipient through one or more channels so channels are also involved in an exchange of ideas fact opinion information understanding between two or more person is called communication it may also be regarded as the process of meaningfully transferring information from one person to the other person the first person from where message is being transferred is called the sender and to whom it is transferred is called the receiver or recipient of messages the success of a business depends <coughs> to a great great extent on the effective communication it has become an essence of management it is not only a link it it is it is a link now it act as not only a link uh, but is all pervasive in the entire process of the management communication is the lifeblood in the modern business and industry it is a systematic and continuous process that leads to a proper smooth running of a business so proper and smooth running of a business depends very much on effective communication that exists in the organization communication is the process of passing of information passing of understanding uh, from one person to the other person communication is conveying the messages conveying the information from the receiver sender to the receiver communication is an exchange of ideas opinions it is an act of inducing others informing others to interpret an idea from the other person it means imparting conveying exchange of knowledge messages by speech by writing or by sign any medium can be chosen for communication any formal or any informal medium can be chosen but proper communication must be there that is essential in an organization so 
communication refers to the exchange of feelings i have told you it is an attempt to achieve an accurate understanding between two or more person so communication is done for accurate understanding it is essential for accurate understanding between two or more person it is an act characterized by uh, a desire of ex desire to exchange information it involves a systematic and continuous process of telling listening understanding it is one of the most important function of management the success of business depends on this communication may be called as the nervous system of any business now in this whole process of communication there is sender there is sender then there is encoding i will tell you what are those one by one then there is after this there is a message there is a medium then decoding decoding then receiver and then feedback so in this way it is a circular movement first comes a sender then encoding message medium decoding receiver feedback all these are elements of communication this whole thing this round whole thing are the elements which are involved in the process of communication now sender is the communicator the sender is a person who initiates the process of communication the sender may be the superior the subordinate a fellow member a customer or any outside member can be called the sender the communication the whole process of this communication starts with the person called sender he is the one who transforms the message who gives the message who shares the ideas who exchange the information everything in that element of communication starts from the first element who is the sender communication process will not exist if there is no sender so other element doesn't matter rather i can say other elements depend on this main factor called sender there must be sender of a message at the beginning at the primary stage then other elements lies comes after that message must be there decoding encoding all will be there that i will explain to you in my next class but the first thing and foremost important thing in the way of this uh, circular movement in the way of this circular thing of all the elements the first thing is the sender so i have told you the process starts with the sender so in my next class i will discuss about all the elements lying in the process of communication till then Goodbye.